Hi, my name is Tyler Nadrich. I am the orchestra director at Scribner Elementary, and I brought a our chamber group, elementary students. We have two fourth graders and two fifth graders. We're going to perform two pieces of music, a piece by Smetna and a piece by Arensky, some great composers. They're super excited to share what they've been working on. Um, we've been working on this music for about a month. About a month, so very impressive. Can't wait to show you off. Um, not going to talk too much, so here's our chamber group.
you're in for a uh, real treat tonight. We got a, a lot of great groups ahead. And uh, of course, enjoy the food trucks we have out here today. And we've really dialed the weather in today. Absolutely perfect night for your listening enjoyment here. So our next group up is uh, uh, a real special group of uh, high school students. Let's just talk a little bit about them and maybe I'll embarrass them just a little bit. So um, most, all, most all seniors here, this is uh, the Penfield Senior High Jazz Combo. And these guys um, are really dedicated to the art of jazz and really go the extra mile here. Uh, I, just to give you an idea, they spend their Friday afternoons uh, with me in the, in the high school band room after school has ended uh, because they want to get together and they want to play. They want to jam. They want to learn new tunes. They want to, you know, they want to perfect their craft. So, you know, they're just really dedicated. Um, really excited to be here playing for you this afternoon.
I want to take just a quick moment here to introduce the band. I'm going to play a couple tunes with them, and then I'm going to get off the stage so they can kind of do their thing. But before I go, I want to introduce them. So right here on uh, piano, we have Eli Syracusa. Back there on the bass, we have Jackson Wade. On the drum set, we have Jackson Holleran. They're also known as the Jackson Two. Brody Shank on the guitar. Andrew Saylor on the trumpet. And Trevor Smith on the alto saxophone. The next tune we're going to play for you is very appropriate for this afternoon evening. It is an Irving Berlin tune called Blue Skies.
Thank you very much. The next tune we're going to play for you is a tune written by uh, tenor saxophonist Sonny Rollins. This is a tune called St. Thomas. Brody Shank, as you already know, we're the senior jazz combo. This next song is called Equinox. A little John Coltrane for y'all.
I'm Jackson Holleran. I'm, the, I'm on the drum set back there. Once again, thank you for coming out. We really appreciate it. Thank you for uh, keeping the jazz scene alive. Truly. This next one's called Blue Bossa. Hope you love it. Thank you. 
My name is Trevor Smith, and I play saxophone here for the Senior Combo. We just wanted to thank you for listening. Hello, everybody. Welcome. For those of you that are just getting here, uh, we are the PHS Concert Band. I'm Mr. Roland. And uh, we're really excited to see you. Yay! Great crowd here. Beautiful day. Uh, so we're going to start. We're going to play a few pieces for you this afternoon. Uh, the first one. Uh, the first one is a, is a piece called Hope, Honor, and Glory that um, if you were at the Bay Trail 8th grade concert, uh, you might recognize that title. So I wanted to just set it up a little bit so you know kind of where the, the piece comes from. So we were supposed to, earlier in the year, uh, we, was, we had sort of a collaborative performance that we were going to do with the 8th graders. Uh, we were going to play this piece together. Um, but then things kind of didn't work out and we weren't able to do it this year. Um, but we had been practicing it and learning it, and the 8th graders had been practicing it and learning it as well, but we never got a chance to play it together. So they actually, uh, I believe they opened their spring concert with it, and uh, we're going to open our portion of the concert today with it, because it's a really nice piece, and we learned it, and we figured why not just play it for you. So um, if you were uh, an 8th grader in band here, or uh, were at that concert, you'll recognize it. This is Hope, Honor, and Glory. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. The next piece that we're gonna play for you is a piece that we played on our March Music in Our Schools Month concert. We only played two pieces on that concert, um, and this is one of them. It's a fun one, and it's uh, nice to be able to pull it back out of the folders and, and play it for you uh, in a setting like this. It's called uh, Foil Again, Foiled Again, sorry. And it's uh, subtitled The Villain's Gallop. And if you, were at, if you were at the concert, as I'm sure many of you were, I think you remember, um, me kind of describing it. It's based on all the silent movie villains, and it's in a gallop, sort of like a fast march style. Um, and that, that's kind of the, um, the inspiration for the piece. So if you liked it in March, hopefully you'll, you'll still like it. And if not, if you haven't heard it, it's called Foiled Again. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Uh, our next piece is um, a medley from the movie Fantasia 2000. Do you all remember the reboot of Fantasia, uh, which was now 22 years ago? Hard to believe. Um, so this this um, this piece has uh, in it. It's it's all make major classical themes. Starts off with Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, um, and there's uh, several others in there that you will um, that you will recognize. And Pieces like this are nice because uh, us in the band world, we don't get to play orchestra music all that much or play music by composers like, like Mozart or Grieg or Beethoven. So it's nice to do arrangements like this and to get the, uh, the band students to, to play some music by you know, really well-known and really important orchestra composers. So uh, you'll probably recognize all the themes in this. Uh, so hope you enjoy uh, our medley from Fantasia 2000. <clears throat> Thank you. 
thank you very much. Wow, the crowd keeps getting bigger every time I turn around. There's like more and more people. It's awesome. <clears throat> We're going to wrap up our portion of the program with uh, another medley um, of all Disney favorites, if you will. Um, it's, I'm not going to go and list what they are right now because I'll probably get it wrong, but you'll, you'll recognize all of them. Uh, it's a good piece to close with because it's something that everybody recognizes. I just want to say, since this is our last actual performance of the year, I just want to thank all of you and thank the students for a great year. Um, again, you've heard me say this at other concerts, but you know, this is all just stuff we haven't been able to do in a while. So to see everybody out here and to have everybody on stage is it's pretty awesome. So thank you and thank them and uh, yeah. It's felt really normal this year. It's, it's, it's been nice. Um, how about another uh, round of applause for the jazz combo as well? Much more jazz coming your way later, I promise. So thank you very much. Um, when, uh, when we're finished, we're just gonna be just a quick, quick change of, um, of students here. Uh, wind Ensemble is up next. So uh, hang out and uh, get food from the food trucks. I heard the smoothies are amazing. So here's our last piece, uh, Disney, and thank you very much.
Hello again! You're still here, but there's more of you. It's awesome. This is the PHS Wind Ensemble. Excited to play for you today. Uh, the first piece we're going to play for you uh, this afternoon is called Triumphant Fanfare, and it's that. It's a very short um, opening sort of fanfare piece. It's actually a piece that we're going to record uh, next week for the graduation ceremony, which is going to take place at Frontier Field. All the music for that will be pre-recorded. Um, so we're going to, uh, th this piece will actually be part of the graduation ceremony. So here's Triumphant Fanfare. We have such a quick turnaround time from like our spring concert and all the other things that we have to do, uh, you know, and this concert. So we've only had about maybe four rehearsals on this piece, but they've done a great job on it. So here is America on Parade.
Thank you very much. Um, our next piece is um, a piece that uh, it's a piece that I love. It's from it's from a musical. It's anybody fans of the musical Jekyll and Hyde? Maybe kind of. Okay, so for those four people that said something, great. <laughs> You're gonna really love this one then. This is one of my favorite musicals, and uh, the, the the story behind this piece is you know a similar story that you've heard probably with other pieces. Is we um, when I came to PHS three years ago, I kind of started rehearsing this piece with the concert band, um, and many of the students here were in concert band at the time, and it's just, oh, and then we, we pulled it back out last year and kind of rehearsed it. It's, it's been this piece that we've always just rehearsed and rehearsed, and different combinations of students have played it, and you know, finally I said, we have to just actually perform this thing uh, for people. So after several years of just kind of like playing around with it a little bit, putting it away, taking it, you know, we finally um, are going to perform it. So I'm excited at least, and for maybe some of you. Um, so uh, if you're not familiar with the music, um, I think you'll really, really like it, and it's, uh, it's a fun medley. So here is uh, selections from Jekyll and Hyde.
Thanks so much for being such a great audience and bringing such great weather with you. If you were at the spring concert, you remember I said I have the weather all taken care of. It was going to be great. Was I wrong? I was not wrong. <clears throat> so it's, it's, all, it's all my doing. It's all my doing. Yeah, the weather is totally my doing. We all know that. We're going to wrap up our portion of, uh, of the concert here um, with a piece that you all know, uh, Mambo from West Side Story. Um, yeah, this is a really fun one. And we had to take like an extra truck of percussion equipment here just in order to play it. So, and I have to give them a few minutes to like reset back there because it's like every percussion, piece of percussion equipment we own is needed for this piece. Um, so you probably... You know, not all of you knew Jekyll and Hyde, but I'm sure many more of you know West Side Story. So this is just, yeah. I was hoping for that for Jekyll and Hyde, but it's, it's okay. Hopefully you like the music more and you'll go and listen to that. Um, so this is, um, this is just the mambo section though, but it's very, very high energy, tons of percussion, um, quite a difficult piece. Um, and I want to thank Karen Vanderbilt for, um, for suggesting it way back in like October. <laughs> Yeah, the weather was my doing, but this piece was her doing, so. Uh, so, uh, yeah, super fun, and uh, please hang around. Uh, the PHS Jazz Ensemble uh, is gonna close things out uh, after we're done here, so uh, enjoy the great weather and the food, and here's Mambo. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, so you know in the part when it goes, when there's the P, and there's the, like the little line there and everybody yells Mambo, do you know that part? Okay, so you have to scream Mambo with us. I'll try to do one of these, but and try not to fall off the podium.
Hello again. Welcome to the final portion of the concert. This is the Penfield High School Jazz Ensemble. And uh, this year, um, we've had one combined jazz ensemble at the high school, and I've had the pleasure of co-directing it with Mr. Bricko. It's been really fun. Uh, kind of a format we haven't done before, but it's, it's been a great year, and uh, this band is just, just awesome. Uh, we're going to start off with a tune uh, by Victor Lopez called Coco Walk. Victor Lopez is uh, widely known as an arranger, but this is actually one of his original uh, pieces, so hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> Thank you very much. The next tune we're going to do is a straight ahead sort of moderate swing tune called Crunch Time. Um, 
I think it may have been the actual first tune that we read in our first rehearsal uh, in September. Um, so it's nice to kind of come full circle and play it in our final concert. So um, there's, uh, you have two soloists in this, uh, in this tune. You're going to hear from uh, Trevor Smith on alto sax and Andrew Saylor on trumpet. Here's crunch time. Smith, Andrew Saylor. Our next piece, we're going to slow it down a little bit. This is kind of a ballad, though it does get pretty intense in, in, in the middle section, but it's kind of uh, different than any of the two tunes that we've played so far. Uh, it's a piece called True North, um, a piece that has really grown on me over the time that we've been rehearsing, and I love it. I think it's just so well written, and it's going to feature uh, Trevor Smith on alto sax. So uh, hope you enjoy True North.
Trevor Smith on the alto sax. I'm gonna uh, hand it over now to my colleague, Mr. Brian Bricko, for the next tune. I just wanna say thanks once more for being in our audience tonight. We really appreciate you spending the evening with us. And you know, once again, we just couldn't ask for a better, better night to be out here, so thanks again. We're gonna continue our program with a piece that we think you're gonna find very familiar. This is a piece that was made famous by the band Toto. It's Africa. It's gonna feature Trevor Smith on alto saxophone and Brody Shank on guitar.
thank you very much. Trevor Smith, alto saxophone. Brody Schenk on guitar, Africa by Toto. I'm going to hand it back once again to Mr. John Rowland. Our next piece is called Four by Miles Davis, a real fast, upbeat swing tune. Um, I love this one, and I just think these guys play it so good. I think it might be my favorite in the whole program. So uh, you're going to hear uh, some soloists, too. You're going to hear from Karen Vanderbilt on tenor sax and Andrew Saylor on trumpet. Here's Four by Miles. Vanderbilt, tenor sax, Andrew Saylor on the trumpet. All right, folks, how you doing out there? All right, we're in the home stretch. We got a couple more tunes for you. This guy's been working so hard this year, and it's just really great to have an opportunity to get them out and play, especially on such a beautiful night. So before we do our last two numbers, uh, we're going to do something a little special here. So every spring, uh, Mr. Roland and I like to give out some awards to some seniors who are graduating um, and some really outstanding uh, band musicians and jazz musicians um, that we've observed over the year and just seen their growth. And we like to reward that. We like to acknowledge that. Um, and we, you know, we, we handed out a couple of these awards at our um, spring uh, band concert. And we have one more award that we would like to hand out today kind of a, a little bit of a surprise. This is actually the first time we're, we're doing this award. 
So this award is, is pretty special. Uh, Mr. Roland and I have been thinking about this for a while. And there's uh, one particular student in this ensemble that we really felt necessary to recognize. This student has by far gone way above and beyond when it comes to being involved in the music program. From everything to being a member of wind ensemble, being a member of jazz ensemble, being um, enrolled in just every single music course that you possibly could be enrolled in in PHS and, and being successful and doing very well in those courses. Um, a member of the senior jazz combo, so earlier. Pit orchestra member. So as you can see, just the, the list goes on. This student really has been involved in every facet of the music program. Um, and really, uh, since his, his freshman year, just really been eager to be involved. Um, also a member of the Eastman Youth Jazz Orchestra, uh, a member of all county jazz ensemble. So someone who's just really gone above and beyond going, going to solo festival, doing jazz solos, um, being part of these honor ensembles, um, just really went above and beyond this year. So it is on behalf of Mr. Rowland and myself, it is our pleasure to be awarding Trevor Smith the PHS Band Recognition Award. So we're gonna end with a couple of really exciting pieces here. These next two pieces actually were both composed by Herbie Hancock, and they've been a, a couple of favorites of ours. And you can really tell uh, by the energy that you're gonna hear. I know that uh, some brass players have had a really long night here, so hopefully they've still got the chops for this. I think they do, they were sounding really good. So the first tune that we're gonna do, this first Herbie Hancock tune, is a tune called Chameleon. And um, it's gonna feature a few soloists. We have Andrew Saylor, who's going to play trumpet. Uh, Sean and Danielle Kress, going to have a little sibling rivalry up here. Okay. Brody Shanks going to play guitar for you again. You're going to hear Trevor on baritone saxophone this time. And you're going to hear Eli Siracusa on piano. This is Chameleon.
Thank you, Chameleon by Herbie Hanger. Another round for our soloist, Trevor Smith, baritone saxophone. Brody Schenk on guitar, Eli Zirkus on piano. Sean Kress, Danielle Kress, Andrew Saylor.
Thank you, PHS Jazz Ensemble. Thank you, solos one more time. Brody Shank on guitar, Karen Vanderbilt on tenor sax, Sean Crest on alto, Eli Siracusa, Ella Bodie on drum sets. <laughs>